Happy Sunday, everybody, and we are coming at you with a breaking story that once again surrounds good old Donald Trump's made-up masculinity. You know that toxic fake news toughness he always likes to portray. Hmm, seems quite common and quite odd. Guys always talking about wanting to punch people in the face and throw him out and knock the hell out of him, and yet... One of the things good old Dipstick Donald likes to do far too often is reference that towards women. Hmm, curious, huh? And yet, before we get to the breaking story, I'm going to show you in just a few moments about what he just now said again at one of his rallies in California. Whoopsie poop. Remember back in the day, if you're old enough to remember, when a guy named... Bobby Riggs might have been popping off as a typical chauvinist, misogynistic male. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, in Donald Trump? And somebody named Billy put him in his place, funny enough. And then, of course, there's ladies MMA. And I just wonder how well Donnie might be against Rhonda or Holly, or for that matter, even his son. So before we get to the breaking story about what he did this time regarding domestic violence, how about you take a look at this and let's hearken back to just how much of a liar and full of BS when it comes to his toughness. Get your coffee, get home and relax from the hike in between halftime of the NFL game and watch this. Billie Jean King playing for half the people on the planet. The pressure must have been incredibly immense. You mean to say you think I put women down? Is that what you're saying uh, that I'm doing all the time? Yes, I do. I don't think you give us credit for having any brains. I definitely wanted to play him because uh, I don't feel Margaret did women's tennis justice. She's a woman and women... Now, what does that have to do with it? Well, they can only do things like men like about half as good, if that good. Now, my understanding is that Trump was here a couple of days ago, but I suspect he forgot to tell you a few things. Number one, I doubt very much that he told you that he is a pathological liar. The evangelicals didn't vote for him. You know why? Because they don't like liars. Overnight, Trump rallying a massive crowd in Las Vegas, saying he wanted to hit a protester who interrupted him. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Last few fights. So that energy that Holly Holm just connected with is also in tremendous physical condition. Yes. Very popular with Michael Wink and John Trent product. I gotta be honest with you. I don't think Donnie in his prime could have lasted 15 seconds with either one of those ladies. And yet this is a guy who constantly calls for domestic violence. And ironically, hmm, in this breaking story, I'm going to show you right now a little too often when it comes to women. We're not going to let Kamala Harris do to America what she did to California. We're not going to let it happen. This election is your chance to send a message. Back home to mommy. She goes back home to mommy. Was that you, darling? And then she gets the hell knocked out of her. Yeah. As you can see, this is once again a moment that someone who raises a little anti-Trump voice at one of his rallies, he threatens and discusses somebody who wants to punch them and then actually tries to couple that with making it about her parents probably love him. Hmm. And this is while in... The state of California, which on its own is honestly kind of funny. Now, listen, I don't hit senior citizens, but I tell you what, Donald, if you'd like to risk your run for the presidency, even though I'm probably close to old enough to be the father of both Don Jr. and Eric, I tell you what, I'll take them both on in the octagon. They won't last two rounds. And I think when I win, you have to drop out of the race. How about that? Mm, nah, he would never take that. That has too much truth in it about both his toughness and the boys he raised. Don't get fooled, folks. Vote Harris Walls and always do what Obama said. Don't boo. Vote.